Welcome back to Drinks and Chill. My name is Gilles. This is Matt. And today we are doing a mini, mini review for a mini bottle. Yes, we are. And you know what? By the time we get to the end of the year, you're going to be able to say that without pausing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I picked this up on a recent trip to Scotland. And if you want to know more about that, there is a haul posted and there may be other videos by now, but maybe not. I don't know. Um, but they'll be up. Yeah, they will be up eventually. So if you want to see those, subscribe. Stay tuned. But this is Legeg 10 year and I've heard really good things about this one lately. So uh, when I saw this little mini bottle there, I was like, ooh, I want to get it. Ooh. This is, uh, I believe, made at Tobamori Distillery, if I am to believe what the label says. And yes, I believe that's also how it's pronounced. Legeg. 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 Help us figure out how to yeah. <laughs> pronounce these things. Oh, very barbecue-y. Oh yeah, I can already smell it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Okay, yeah, super peaty, smoky. This is more peaty than the, uh, what was it called, heavy the, duty? The Octomore, the heavily peated. Oh, the he super heavy and peated. Yeah. 46.3% ABV, distilled, matured, and bottled in Scotland by Tobamori Distillers Limited, Isle of Mull, Scotland. Mm. So. This is a pleasant smoke. It so, really is. Mm -hmm. I know there's a different peatiness on all of them. Like there's a, you got the cigar smoke ones, mm -hmm. then you got the campfire ones. This one's more like that barbecue meaty type of smoke. Yeah. Like, ah, uh, it smells good kind of smoke. There's some sweetness in it. It does have like a white wine quality to it, like a Moscato type of smell to it. It does, doesn't it? That's crazy. It's like a graham cracker mm -hmm. back there. Buttery. It's kind of buttery. It is, right? Like that, like that, like a melted butter. Mm -hmm. I really like how this smells. All right, I'm going to taste it. Yep. Ready? Yeah. Cheers. Okay, it tastes of cigar smoke, but a little bit of campfire smoke in there too. Yeah, I got more campfire than cigar goes down very smoothly. It's not sharp. It's it's very easy to drink, very sippable. This is really nice. Very sweet in the taste too. Mm -hmm. It's actually really good. Right? It reminds me a lot like Lagavulin. It still has that kind of graham cracker thing going on. There's a sweetness, like a vanilla. It's vanilla. Wow. Yeah, I gotta give me a bottle of this. Like a, a real bottle of this. And I think they have them at Total Wine. Mm. So I rate this, a, this is out of 10, so mm -hmm. there's no breakdown or anything. Yep. So 7.5. Okay. I ranked this a 9.1. 9.1. Yeah. Dang. I think that's our first nine, isn't it? So we had an Octomore 10 year earlier in the year in a small bottle, which I ranked a nine, but I think this is better. So that's our ratings and we enjoy it, and he's probably going to go ahead and splurge and pick up the bottle tomorrow. If I do, we'll have it again. Even though we've given this like a mini review, I feel like if we get a full bottle of it, we need to go back and review that like on a like a like, full review yeah. where we break it down. They break it down. Because I don't know, my, my rating might change. Yeah. Mine, it's, it's happened before. Mine might too. It'll probably be lower. <laughs> <laughs> and mine might be higher. I, I have no idea. Oh, now it smells like cheese. Oh, it does smell like cheese. <laughs> What's going on with this? And I didn't even add more. Right? That's going to be our mini review of Le Jeg 10 Year. Let us know down in the comments um, if you've had Le Jeg 10 Year and what you think of it. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know whenever we post. And we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.